everyone, Lisa here aka Crafting Diva. Thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel today. Happy Wednesday to you all. If you're new to my channel, a big hello and welcome. And if you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be a bit of a mixed video for you all as I need to do a few things to catch up with. Little giveaways, little hellos um, and also as this is Wednesday, this is going to be my little upload for Hillary for pink bubble cards here on YouTube for her alphabet challenge but first of all I need to come on and say a big big thank you to Jenny from Jenny Ninja Crafts who so kindly sent me this absolutely beautiful card she's made uh, it says let's have some fun and features this absolutely stunning bird that she has stamped and coloured you'll have to not let me know Jenny um, what pens you use to colour your image as that's absolutely absolutely stunning and I love how she's done all the shading and inside it said dear Lisa thank you so much for my beautiful birthday card it was so kind of you to think of me hope you're having a great week crafty hugs Jenny so a huge thank you to Jenny and um, like I say Jenny is from Jenny Ninja Craft so I will leave a link to her channel in that description box below and like I say it was her birthday so I just popped a little birthday card in the post to her as she's a wonderful craft I love looking on her channel get lots of inspirations from her little projects she uploads so yeah definitely go and check out Jenny's channel so a huge thank you to you Jenny and also I'm going to pick the little winner of my little secret giveaway that I ran it was in my play and make video week 10 um, if you watch the video all the way through towards the end I mentioned that the little project I made for week 10 play and make I was going to give away my little ATC and the little pocket that I made for it and the rules for the little secret giveaway was that you either had to put the word flower or leave me a little flower emoji in the comments box so this will be the prize to the lucky winner and I've written the names out of the people that did that left the word flowers or an emoji and I'm going to pick a little winner and yeah you'll just win the little ATC and the little pocket I made so just something little so I've got a little box here so I will show on camera as I fold them up so the first entry is Anne Lane 138 at 58 so thank you so much and for joining in put you in the little box we've got crafting with the quilling lady so a big big thank you to you let's fold you up and put you in the box then we've got Lorna Callahan so yes big uh, good luck to you Lorna she's always uh, leaving me beautiful comments on my videos then we've got Alex bullet for my snail mail so let's get Alex's little entry put into the box and then my final entry was crafty little things which is MJ so let's get these all folded up so as you can see I had three four five entries and yeah it was just a secret little quick little mini giveaway so let's close the box up give it a good 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 shake good luck everyone and the lucky winner of the little ATC and pocket is going to go to crafting with uh, the quilling lady so huge congratulations to you I will leave my email address in that description box below if you can drop me an email with your address and I'll get your little prize sent out to you thank you so much for all the ladies that watch the video towards the end and put a flower emoji or writ the word flowers so thank you so much for joining in with my little giveaway and please keep tuned because there will be a bigger giveaway coming to my channel very soon I've just got to get things organized and figure out how I'm going to do it and what we're going to do to make a fun little giveaway so huge congratulations to crafting with quilling lady get me your address and I'll get that posted off to you and I hope you like it when you see it in person so without further ado this is also going to be my little video for like I said Hillary who is pink bubble cards here on YouTube for her alphabet challenge uh, yeah last week Hillary picked out the letter S for scraps and yeah if you've been watching my channel for a while you know this is something I'm trying to do this year is try and use up all those little pieces of scrap paper and stickers and embellishments we all end up with so the items I've been 
been using is some old sticker sheets I'm trying to use up and I have this actual little box here that I keep all my little scraps in so I've got tiny little pieces of paper pattern paper plain paper then in the top I've got little cut out pieces little gems little pieces of ribbon and mirror card so I've been taking pieces from my little scrap box here to make my project and the project I've made for today's theme S for scraps is I've made myself a nice little Q ATC box use all pieces of cardstock and little stickers from the box the only brand new thing I did use was my ATC stickers to spell out ATC as I didn't have a scrap sheet of alphabets that had the letters I needed but other than that everything else is made from scraps from my box I've made the little box pack, uh, covered it in the pattern paper and then I've just made a selection of ATCs and as you can see I've used all different pattern papers picked out little die cut shapes little handmade flowers I had in my box little uh, ticket sentiments this one says stay close to people who feel like summer so there's that design there then I made this one here that says sweetness everywhere squeeze the day that was just a piece of paper that was left over in my box then I've done this one here where I've laid all the papers up I've done sort of strips of paper in the background and added random little squares of pattern paper and added the sticker I believe in you then this one here I pretty much used every tiny little piece of paper I could find matted them all onto the little AT did sort of a faux stitching around the edge to hide that if the pieces were a little bit crooked that is a perfect way if you do have a little piece of paper you want to use but it does look a little bit crooked add a bit of faux stitching around the edge and you would never know so like I said I've just added random little pieces of paper on this design done the little heart die cut added the sticker my heart is full and then for the finishing touches I've added some little sequins and then the final one is I've sort of done a Japanese type themed Happy New Year um, ATC had this image in my box for absolutely ages and thought it worked perfectly with this piece of patterned flower paper in the background and just stamped the message Happy New Year and added the beautiful image of the little geisha girl so this is my project for um, Hillary pink bubble cards for her theme of S for um, scraps really hope you enjoyed having a look at the little ATCs and the box I've made managed to use up a few little scraps but as you can see I've still got a box full of them so thank you so much for watching this video everyone today I would love to read any of your comments so please feel free to leave them in that comments box below if you have enjoyed this video please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel I'd love you to do that um yeah thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you all again again soon. Bye for now.